Hey there, thanks for joining me for today's practice. My name's Paula. So today's sequence is short and sweet and it will just get into the hips and loosen them off. Well, let's make a start straight away. Coming to the top of your mat and let's have the feet either together or just slightly apart, just whatever's most comfortable. Bring the palms and hands together in front of the chest and let the elbows drop down, let the eyes close. First couple of moments centering and grounding into the body and the breath. Just feeling that weight drop down into the feet and the length running all the way up the spine, up through both sides of the waist and up and out through the crown of the head. And then let's open up the eyes, release the arms down by your side, press down through the feet, reach the arms up, taking an inhale, looking up to the thumbs, and then exhale, forward fold into your Uttanasana, feeling free to bend the knees here as much as you need to, let the head relax down. Take an inhale into your halfway lift, and exhale, fold. Bend the knee, step the right leg back, drop down to the right knee, release the top of the right foot down. Just taking a breath here, trying to release that right hip down towards the mat. Taking an inhale, and then as you exhale, we're gonna walk the hands back slightly, straightening through that front leg, and then bending once again, walk your hands forward, take an inhale, exhale to straighten, flexing the left foot towards the face, and then inhale to bend, and exhale to straighten. We'll go one more time like that. Inhale to bend. Exhale to straighten, flexing the foot towards the face, taking an inhale. Exhale, hands can come flat or you might better walk them a little bit further forward. Keep actively flexing the foot towards the face. So we're gonna keep a parallel. Take an inhale. As you exhale, bring the right toes in towards the midline of the body. Gently hug the navel in, keep the breath going, keep breathing. And then bring the leg, the foot back through center and take it out to the left side, rotating out now. Keep flexing that foot, keep trying to straighten the leg, flex the foot towards you. And then come back to center, taking one more full breath. You might be able to come down a little bit deep on the exhale and then walk the hands forward, bending into that front leg. Tuck the back toes under, step back to down facing dog. Just taking a couple of breaths in your down facing dog. Steady gaze with the eyes. Lift the heels up towards the ceiling, take an inhale, and then exhale, heels come back down. And again, inhale, heels lift up, and then exhale to lower. One more time, inhale, lifting up, exhale to lower back down. And lift the heels up and then take that right leg up to your three-legged dog, inhale. Coming into your half pigeon, right knee towards that right wrist. Walk this left foot a little bit further back, keeping the toes tucked under. We're not gonna go down, we're not gonna hold this for too long just because we're not super warm. We top of that left foot down, just coming onto the fingertips, lifting up through the two frontal hip bones. Relax the shoulders. Taking another in-breath and then exhale. Bring the hands down, make your way back into your down-facing dog. So tuck that back foot under and take your own time. Finding your down-facing dog. Softening through the knees, look forward towards the hands. Stepping forward in between the hands. Take an inhale into your halfway lift. Exhale, fold. Press down through the feet, coming back up to standing. Inhale, palms and hands come together, and then exhale, folding down, Uttanasana. Relax the head, inhale, halfway lift, exhale, fold. Bend the knee, step the left leg back, dropping down to that left knee, release the top of the left foot down, just finding your lunge position here. Just taking a few moments, breathing to the front of that left thigh. And then from here, let's 
straight into that front leg, flexing the foot towards the face, and then bend once again, walking your hands forward, take an inhale, sternum reaches forward, exhale, straightening into that right leg, bending, take an inhale, sternum reaches forward, and then exhale, straight through that right leg. One more time, bend into that front leg, inhale, and then exhale. Actively flexing the feet towards the face, taking an in-breath. Exhale, hands might come flat onto the mat, maybe walking them forward a little bit. And then from here, keep that right foot flexed. Let's take another inhale. Exhale, rotate that right foot inwards towards the midline of the body. Try to relax the shoulders, relax the face. And then inhaling through center with the foot and then exhale to turn that right foot out now. Try to straighten through that right leg, reach the right heel away as you flex the toes towards the face. Coming back through center, taking one more inhale as you exhale, possibly folding down a little bit more and then bending into that front leg, tuck the back toes under, step back, down facing dog. Just taking a breath here. Lifting up onto the balls of feet. Take that left leg up to your three-legged dog. Inhale, half pigeon. Taking that left knee to the outside of the left wrist. Walking this right foot a little bit further back if you can. Top of the right foot releases down. You might be able to walk your hands a little bit further back. Just a couple of breaths. Lifting up through the two frontal hip bones. Relax the shoulders. And then bringing those hands forward, if you've taken them down again, tuck the back toes under, make your way back into down facing dog. And looking forward towards the hands, stepping forward in between the hands. Take an inhale into your halfway lift. Exhale, fold. Press down through the feet, coming back up to standing inhale. Palms, hands come together. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift, exhale, fold. Bend the knees and just step back down onto your knees. Sitting over to one side and extending the legs out long in front of you. <clears throat> Flexing through the feet. Walking out a little bit so you can come right up onto the sitting bones. Reach those arms up, take an inhale. Exhale, folding forward, holding onto where you can on the legs. Tips the shoulders away from the ears. Just one more breath here. And then inhale, coming up. And bending the knees up, I'm gonna just turn so I can face you here. Bending the knees up, taking your right leg underneath, and then your left leg on top. So we're going for our Gormukhasana legs here. Keep both sitting bones down. So we're trying to stack knee to knee. If that's not possible, then you could take your half shoelace position. So just extend the bottom leg underneath you. Otherwise, trying to bring the feet in towards the sides of the hips. When you're ready, taking an inhale and then exhale, walking your hands forward to where you can And just holding it here. Try to keep both sitting bones down. And you might stay really relaxed with the arms. If you had blocks or something, you could rest your head down. You could rest something down. You could rest your head down on something. Let's notice and meet the rising sensations in the body with the breathing. And then starting to walk the hands back up. Take that 
Take that right hand away, left arm up and over, dropping the underneath shoulder down, pressing down through that left sitting bone, maybe turning the eyes, look up towards the ceiling. And then inhale, coming back up. And let's swap it around. Let's bend the knees up, taking your left leg underneath and then your right leg on top, trying to get both sitting bones down. Taking an inhale to lengthen up and then exhale, walking your hands forward to where you can. And remember, arms can stay quite relaxed if that's your preference today. Feeling into that right outer hip. And remembering you can take that half shoelace position if that's better for you too. Just noticing how that process of softening is continuous. So with each breath, just a little bit more softer. And then with this breath again, softening. Maybe letting go of the muscles of the face or the shoulders. And then starting to walk the hands back up, taking that left hand away from the hip, right arm up and over, dropping that underneath shoulder down, maybe turning the head to look up towards the ceiling, pressing down through that right sitting bone. And then taking an inhale to come back up. And then let's uncross the legs. Make your way down onto your back. Bring the soles of the feet together. Knees drop open wide. Arms a little bit away from the body. Closing down the eyes. Just feeling into the weight of the legs. Just listening in for any of those little micro shifts that might be happening in the hip joints as they start to let go. And then let's bring the knees back up towards the ceiling, feet hip distance apart and extend the legs out long into your Shavasana, letting the feet fall away from one another, arms comfortably away from the body, palms facing up, eyes closing completely. Relaxing the back of the neck, the front of the throat, the face, the jaw, the belly. It's the whole front side of the body and the whole back side of the body. The whole body is letting go, resting here. Feel free to stay here for as long as you need to or can. Thank you so much for joining me today. I'll see you next time. Namaste.